Hi, this is Dale Caffey with more of the great things happening at the Waco Independent School District. I'm on the campus of Hillcrest Professional Development School in Miss Emily Draper's kindergarten classroom where students are using a special program called Osmo to learn how to spell. It's a pretty neat deal and it's uh, funded by the Waco ISD Education Foundation. You wrote the grant along with a fellow teacher. Talk a little bit about why this is so important to these students. We feel like it hits so many different things that our kindergarten and first grade kids need. Um, it shows a picture um, for each word that they're spelling, so it's helping with vocabulary. They're introduced to words they've never heard before, and then they're also given immediate feedback of whether or not the sounds that they think they're hearing are actually the sounds that are in the word. They're able to do it independently, they're able to work cooperatively with groups. It hits so many different things that we're attempting to do all the while they think they're playing. You obviously were familiar with this Osmo program, but, or you wouldn't have written the grant. Right. So walk us through it. Uh, the little device, it, it, number one, it's with an iPad. Yes. And there's a little device on top, so t tell us how it works. So you have your iPad, and then you buy your Osmo system. So the Osmo has a camera and a base, and then it comes with the words and tangrams as well. Um, you can download content. You can create your own content content through your account. You pull up what you want your kiddos to do. They look at the picture. So, Inali, what's this a picture of? He's taking a nap, and there's a, word, a letter that's missing. So she has to figure out what's missing. She's going to throw down her letter, and the camera is going to say, yes, she's correct, or no, she's not. And she's earning points to go through the side. And so far, you have 64 points. Wow, you're Rock really rolling. Right. OK. <laughs> Very good. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about why you got with a first grade teacher mm -hmm. and wrote this grant and how it was done. We are really big on alignment and curriculum alignment here at Hillcrest. So something that we start in kindergarten, we want to bridge over to first grade. Mm -hmm. um, so we got together because we're both huge proponents of technology in the classroom. I actually learned about the Osmo at the Baylor Gifted and Talented Differentiation Conference last year. Um, I bought one for myself because it was just so much fun. <laughs> and Ms. Johnson and I were playing with it one day and we thought, why couldn't we use these in our classrooms in small groups? So we worked together to figure out exactly how we could best present it to the Education Foundation. And they believed in us and believed that it would be good for our kids. And I think we're seeing the benefit of it already. You surely are. And we're talking about kindergarten youngsters here who are learning to spell. Yes. That's important. Learning their consonants and vowels. Yes. Uh, sometimes there's one letter missing. Uh, like the vowel in the middle of a three-letter word, but Correct. sometimes there's two letters sometimes missing. Two. Yes. So it's it, challenging. It gets more difficult as they show that they're ready for it. So as Inali shows that she's got it, um, it times them how fast. The faster they throw a letter down, the more points it's worth. Um, so the system knows she's got this. Mm -hmm. Let's challenge her a little bit. So now she has to find two sounds that are missing. We have a young lady with her hand up. She needs oh, a little help. yes, Bella. I, I was on the yellow one. Oh my goodness, moving on up to that medium Ooh, level. Um, What's the word picture? Nap. What is it, Jaden? Rag. Very good. Well, I can see that this is going to pay big benefits yes. down the road because these youngsters are going to be reading very fluently in no yes. time. Yes, I mean, it is October and we're already reading Ooh, and finding seven. CBC words. So that's just huge for us as a campus um, and as a district to impact their reading and middle school and high school to have a strong foundation in kinder and first grade. This is super. We are going to go now to another classroom, yes. Miss Johnston. Yes, Miss Johnston in first grade. Right. And, and we'll see another activity that Osmos is being used for in that first grade class. Now what do I do with it? I'll say. And look, now you can see all that you were writing. That's you, right there. Well, we're fast. You, you were fast, huh? All right. We are now in the first grade classroom of Miss Tammy Johnston to talk more about the Osmo program and the grant that was received from the Waco ISD Education Foundation. Uh, Miss Johnston, uh, we saw the uh, word game in action at the kindergarten level. You helped to co co write this grant, yeah. and it has a lot more pieces to it. Uh, talk about some of the things your students are using the Osmo to learn. Okay. Well, we use uh, the 
letter, the letters as well in here for our spelling tests and things. Uh, we download our spelling list every week so the children have the opportunity to work with those words and see them in a different way, with associate a picture with the letter so they can figure those out. Uh, we also use the Tanagram Priest, which is the math component that they create pictures and they have to look at the picture on the screen and then create the picture on the table with the Tanagrams. Using different shapes. Yes, mm -hmm. and that helps them with their shapes, that helps them with their spatial awareness, it helps them with their creative problem solving. They have to figure out if the shape has to be flipped or turned or how it goes. And of course, as they master it, it gets harder and harder and harder. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a master piece component, which allows them to draw pictures. It also helps with handwriting. It has a handwriting piece in it, so it tells them how to write the letters to go the correct way. It gives them the spatial awareness in the line so that they're not making giant letters, they're making appropriate size letters. Mm -hmm. It's been a great tool for our classroom. They're working independently, mm -hmm. and that's something that you stress too because you don't really have to do a no. lot when you get these things out for these first graders. I don't have to do a thing. <laughs> we have an Osmo team in our classroom. That's a job in our classroom for the week, and I'll say, Osmo team, get the Osmos out. They go get the Osmos. They get the iPads. They set it up. They even press the, the app, and they get it all going, and they know that we're doing long O this week, so they click on long O sort list if that's what we're doing. If it's math, they know that we're going to do tanagrams. So they'll click on the tanagrams and they get them all set up. I don't have to do a thing, so it's great. We mentioned earlier this was all courtesy of the Waco ISD Education Foundation. Yes. You co-wrote the grant along with Miss Draper. Yes. Tell me what you got. Well, we got six sets of Osmos uh, kits that come with the stand, the mirror, a set of tanagrams, and two sets of letters. So every K-1 class at Hillcrest PDS has six sets per classroom. So six children can work on them at a time. You can use it in small group, you can use it as a station, however you feel appropriate. But we felt six was a good number to be on it. So, How big a difference is this making to your class? It's making a huge difference. Uh, we just got them in September, so we had started our spelling list just with small words, CVC words, mm -hmm. and without them, and you know, the tests were pretty low. But now, and on weeks that we don't use them, I can see a difference in their spelling tests, I can see a difference in their um, writing mm -hmm. when they don't have that extra practice. So on the weeks like this week that we've used it, I will probably see higher gains in their spelling tests because they're more familiar with the words and they can associate that picture with the letter. And you were telling me, you know, we saw the word game in action at the kindergarten level mm -hmm. where it's uh, somewhat simple, but of course it's where they need to be. Right. Uh, it's a little bit a uh, higher level for your students. It is. We um, have a little bit different uh, rigor in this in first grade. So we are focusing this week on long O. So our words are all with the long O sound. So they already know that sound. They already know there's an E at the end. They have a picture of a word or a picture and then they have to figure out the word. Now if it's too difficult, it'll help them. Mm -hmm. But as the week, as the days go on, the week goes on, they get, it gets, they get quicker with it, they get faster and then their time gets shorter and they, they're real competitive. They want to finish that and get it before the timer goes off. You got these in September, and of course, they're making more and more exercises and games yes. with the Osmo program. You've been keeping your eye out. Uh, what's the next order do you, that you think you'll try to get to improve even more with Osmo? Well, the next one we're going to get is numbers, and it's for math. It, it, I mean, the tanagrams are too, but this is for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it's like the letter tiles, but it has numbers on them. So mm -hmm. it'll have addition and subtraction problems, which are appropriate for us. But if I need to differentiate, and I have children that need to do multiplication, because I do have some that are ready for that, they'll be able to do that as well as an independent station. So for my kids that need extra help in addition or subtraction, they'll get that, and then mine that need a little bit more will get that as well. And I can teach other children that need other things, so it's great. And how thankful are you for the Waco ISD Education Foundation? So thankful. <laughs> uh, our school budget wouldn't have allowed us to buy these otherwise, and writing the grant was just uh, another way to get another piece of technology into our classrooms to help our students as they move through the grades here. Looks like they're having fun. They are. They love it. This is what they choose to do if we have a free moment in the classroom. If they finish all their work and they're like, oh, can I go get the Osmo and play? Because they think they're playing, but they're learning. So That's right. <laughs> having fun and learning at the same time. Yep. This has been an update from the Waco ISD Education Foundation. For more information on how you can help the Waco ISD Education Foundation and classrooms like this, give a call to that number at the lower part of the screen. This is Dale Caffey reporting from Hillcrest Professional Development School where great things are happening.